In this GoDaddy review, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about GoDaddy before deciding if they are the right hosting provider for you. I will provide you with the most comprehensive review where I will break down the pricing structure and show you how to get the best deal currently available. Next, I will guide you through the entire sign up process and judge how easy their platform really is to use. I would then grade their performance based on page load speed and uptime from the GoDaddy plan that I purchased. And lastly, I will provide you with the pros and cons and my honest recommendations on if or who should buy GoDaddy. At the end of this video, I will give you a very special offer if you decide to pick up GoDaddy through my link below. I will give you my six figure blogger course for free as a bonus and just a way of saying thank you. Now let's get straight into this review. Click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It will take you to my special GoDaddy discount page where you will get the best discount GoDaddy is currently offering. Full transparency, this is an affiliate link. I will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you while you get a special discount and my six figure blogger course for free. So it can be a win-win situation for the both of us and I just appreciate you supporting the channel also. I will be comparing GoDaddy's shared hosting plan although they do offer other types of hostings like VPS and dedicated hosting so they can support you when your business grows and you're ready for an upgrade. Now there are three shared hosting plans to choose from. With the economy tier starting at $4.50 per month, you are limited to just one website and 100 gigabytes of storage. However, on the next two higher plans, you can have unlimited websites and storage, but you do have to pay more at $6 or $8.50 per month. Just a quick note on GoDaddy's payment plans, all their plans cost the same per month with my special discount. It's half price for as long as you need it for. It can be up to 10 years. So for me, if I'm happy with a hosting provider, I always buy the plan for as long as you can because after the original purchase, the price will double. So it's better to get a discounted rate for as long as you can possibly take it. I'm not saying that GoDaddy is the go-to hosting provider yet, there are still a lot of features to be tested out, but if they are, then you should purchase the longer plans. This is just my advice. The overall pricing score I would give GoDaddy is a five out of 10. I took two marks off for them being a fairly expensive choice starting at $4.50 per month when other budget shared hosting providers usually start between $2 to $3 per month only. I took another two marks off for not providing the SSL certificate and the automatic backup feature for free. Instead, they want to charge you extra for this which I believe should not be the case when these are just basic standard features nowadays. I had to take one more mark off them as they also don't offer a custom caching plugin which top hosting providers like A2 Hosting or SiteGround do. This feature would further increase the speed performance of your website but is missing here with GoDaddy. It would not matter if their overall speed is still high but there's only one way to find out and that is to test it out and I will do just that later on in this video. So keep watching to find out. After purchase setup and ease of use. Right away from their dashboard, you can see it looks fairly clean with not much to do but to click on the cPanel admin button here. There are also a fair few upsells on this dashboard page, which I think would be better to replace with shortcut buttons like the one click WordPress installation or email account management buttons to improve user experience. But at the very least, it looks clean. Now let's see how easy it is to install and create our WordPress website. Click on add website, choose your domain name and click on add domain. And now the next step is to refresh your dashboard page and click on install application here. Scroll down and select WordPress. Click on install this application, choose the correct domain. Scroll down and click on install. And that's it, it's that simple. The WordPress website has now been installed, even though their user interface for installing is not as clean and simple looking as other web hosting providers, it still does the job. Click on the cPanel admin. Now come down to the SSL certificate section. Click on manage SSL sites. Scroll down to the bottom again. 
choose your domain and now for these three certificate boxes we need to paste our actual SSL certificates into here and this can be done for free without having to pay GoDaddy the extra money and I show you how to do this step by step in this video here. It is a bit of an extra process that's why I made a separate video for it so check it out and then come back to here to continue on. Okay, so now I have my three certificates that I'm gonna paste into here, and I'll do that quickly now. So here are my three certificates, and now go to the bottom and click on Install Certificate. Click on OK, it's successful. And now go back and check on your home page. You can see here, it says DV Certificate, and it's green, and it's got the lock. So overall, you can see here, installing an SSL certificate with GoDaddy is fairly complicated because they don't provide you the free SSL like other hosting providers do. We will go and create our email account. So from the cPanel dashboard, we will scroll down to the section that says email and click on email accounts. Click on create, put the username you want and password and now scroll to the bottom and click on create. And that's it. Our email has been created. It was really simple and easy to do. Overall, I would score GoDaddy a 6 out of 10 for setup and ease of use. I really like the clean looking dashboard they have, however, I took two marks off as they don't have a full custom dashboard like a lot of other hosting providers have, which make it extra friendly for beginners to use. I also took two more marks off for not having any guides or shortcut buttons to install WordPress, SSL certificates or emails. And they also have too many upsell choices on their dashboard instead, which could be better utilized with other more useful buttons. Speed and uptime performance tests. So after I have installed the basic WordPress site, I went ahead and tested out the speed of the bare bones website using GT metrics. The result is 2.1 seconds. This is not looking promising compared to other hosting providers, but I won't judge them now as I have not optimized the website yet. So now I will take it a step further and add some design elements to it to increase the page size. And don't worry if you're overwhelmed looking at this, my course that I will provide you for supporting the channel will guide you through this step by step. I'm also going to install some free plugins to speed up the website. The first is the WP Fastest Cache, which is for speed optimization. And the next one is the Short Pixel plugin, which is for image optimization. And lastly, I will install the free Cloudflare app, which will also increase the website performance with their CDN. By installing all these apps, it'll make it more comparable to what you would do in real life when setting up your basic website. Here comes the big reveal. The speed is now 3.3 seconds, which is a little too slow to be honest. Google recommends a site to load in under three seconds. So GoDaddy missed that, although not by much. I have also been monitoring the stability performance of GoDaddy with Uptime Robot and can report that their uptime for the last 30 days is 99.977%. This is very good and passes my minimum requirement of 99.95%. So I would say they are a very reliable hosting provider. Overall, I would rate GoDaddy's speed and uptime performance a 6 out of 10. Their speed just wasn't fast enough, so I had to deduct a lot of points there. Other shared hosting providers can give you speed performance almost twice as fast as GoDaddy. On the positive side, they are a very reliable host and their uptime was great, so well done to GoDaddy there. Here's a quick question for you. What is your current page load speed and who is your hosting provider? Let me know in the comments section below. Support. GoDaddy provides 24-7 customer support through email, phone, and live chat. I will test them out by asking them these three different questions on live chat. One, I will tell them that I have been infected by a virus on my website and ask for their help. Two, I will ask them a quick question about their domain name renewal costs. And three, I ask them if they could do me a favor and install an SSL certificate and Cloudflare for me as I am a complete newbie and have no idea how to do this. Here are the results. For the first question, they were not willing to help me with my virus problem at all. They were not even willing to run a malware report for me at the very least. All they were interested in doing was selling me an upgrade to their service so this was a bit disappointing as a customer. For the second question, they did answer my question here, 
but they were not able to answer some of the questions right away and I had to ask them twice so it was a bit annoying. You can see what I'm talking about on the screen here. And for the third question, they were not willing to help with my SSL certificate and Cloudflare at all. Once again, they were only interested in upselling me their SSL certificate service. I think this is already really bad as GoDaddy is the first hosting provider in my test, which does not provide SSL certificates for free anyway. They did tell me that they can help install the SSL certificate if I buy from them though. With regards to their response time, I contacted them at three different times of the day to make sure I get an overall average and not just a biased fast response time during their off peak hours. So the three times were 11 minutes, 11 minutes and five minutes. The average of those three times turns out to be nine minutes wait, which is definitely a little too high for me. I think the max wait time for any company should be kept to under five minutes. Overall, I would have to score GoDaddy support a 3 out of 10. I would say GoDaddy support was one of the worst I have tested from any hosting providers. They were not willing to help fix any of my issues and their average response time was 9 minutes, which was too high for me again. So do you like the level of detail I'm currently providing you in my review? If so, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content that I release every single week just like this. Features, cons. The biggest issue I have with GoDaddy is their website speed. It is fairly slow compared to other hosting providers in the same budget category. At 3.3 seconds load speed, it is just too slow for me to be viable, especially when its best competitors are loading pages almost twice as fast as this. The next con is their lack of basic features. Not providing free daily automatic backup and SSL certificate is just not good enough nowadays. Every decent hosting provider is expected to have this, plain and simple. The next con is about their support team. They were really not willing to help me on anything, which was really disappointing and all they wanted to do was try and upsell me on their service and did not actually care about helping me out. Their response time was also poor and I had to wait too long for a response. The next con is about pricing. I believe their price is also fairly expensive compared to the features they provide. I expected it a lot more at this price as their price is on the higher end when compared to other shared hosting providers. And lastly, their dashboard was also not great. It is clean looking, but it does not have any shortcut buttons to any useful features and there are too many upsell buttons there instead. Pros. The first pro that stands out to me is GoDaddy's 99.977% uptime. Even though they are not a fast hosting provider, at least they make up for it a bit by being reliable. Of course, ideally you want both, but there's no point having blazing fast speed if your site is always down. The next pro is the fact that GoDaddy has servers in North America, Europe and Asia, which you can choose to host your website on. This will greatly increase your website speed for your visitors if you or your business are located outside of the United States. Recommendation. Overall, I have given GoDaddy an average score of five out of 10. They are a reliable hosting provider, but that is about it. Their support was not good and their speed performance was below par and their pricing is quite high also. I believe there are much better options out there for you, whether you're a beginner or even a more advanced user. This is just a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to pick up GoDaddy through my link, just simply send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll quickly send you back the access to my bonus course. It's that simple. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider is a very crucial step in starting your business. So if after watching this review, you think GoDaddy is not the right hosting provider for you, then I definitely recommend you check out this hosting alternative, which I also use myself. But if you're happy with GoDaddy and are ready to proceed, then check out this video and I'll see you over in that tutorial.